One of our hardest working PAs on our staff is Mr. Greg <laughs> Romano, who just so happens to be Ray Romano's son. Now, the last time Ray was on the show, we tried to find Greg a date. But tonight, instead of us trying to get Greg into a relationship, we wanted to just test his relationship with his father. <laughs> this is Face Your Father Celebrity Edition. Oh, Ray, thank you for being here. Uh, Ray, how much do you think you know about your son, Greg? Do you know a lot about him? Do you have a good relationship? I think I do, and I think we do. I think so, you know? <laughs> but you saw, I thought I knew Running Man, too. No, you got it. You got it eventually. I got the it second at the one end, was, right? Yeah, the okay. second one was killer. All right. Okay. I mean, Greg, what about you? How much do you know I about know your dad? Lot. I think I know a lot. Oh, He's... that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's how the game's going to work. I'm going to ask each of you a series of questions about each other, right. and you will both quickly write down your answers, and we will see if they match. Uh -huh. OK, so <laughs> this first question goes to Greg. Greg, what's your mum's biggest complaint about your dad? So if you write your answers down it's, on the pad... It, it's not money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's write these down on your thoughts. All right. What well, do we think the biggest I have to complaint? Write down... Yeah, you write down what you think Greg's gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Greg, what have you gone for? His fashion. His fashion. <laughs> Thank God somebody dressed me for this. Well, I was going to say, you look splendid. Uh, Ray, yeah. what have you gone for? Um, I have to explain this, maybe. <laughs> gone for big toe. What is the big toe issue with your wife? <laughs> My wife's birthday was uh, last February, and for her birthday, she told me, I don't want anything, because, first of all, she has everything. Right. But anyway, <laughs> um, she goes, My birthday present will be for a year straight, could you use that toe fungus liquid <laughs> on your big toe. <laughs> yes. As a birthday gift. Yeah, yes. So I, I did it every... I'm talking about every morning, boom, this, and it, it worked. It cleared it up. <laughs> yes. Well, look at that. It's a present for everybody. <laughs> but that's love. That is true love. That's love not only to do it, but to tell the world that I have <laughs> a fungus. That's exactly it. <laughs> All right, this next question is for Ray. Oh, me? OK. Ray. Yes. What is the stupidest thing you've seen Greg do? This. No. <laughs> so let's no. write your answers down. Um, yeah, what do we think? OK, hold what, on. What do we think? All right, I got it. OK, we'll go with you, Greg, first. Hey, what first, have you got here? I got sleep on the couch. Sleep oh, on the from... couch? Yeah, but there's more. Tell them, tell them. Go ahead. From about ages, like, 12 to maybe... Maybe like 18, I slept on a couch outside of my room instead of in my bed. Not only in that, with the bed. not only that, he has an identical twin brother who slept on the floor right below it. <laughs> yes. You know. Till they were 18. What? Why? You know what? I think we watched The Sixth Sense when we were like 11 or 12, and, and we were like, I don't know, we gotta be in the room with a big TV, and I guess together. I don't know. But <laughs> it's a story of brotherhood. Well, let's have a look and see if your answers match. Ray, what have you gone for? Well, let me just say, I don't want to, because stupidest is a little harsh. <laughs> right. This is, this is probably... What is a mirror? It's the stupidest slash cutest thing I've ever seen him do. OK. And this was when he has an identical twin brother, and when he was two years old, we were living in, in New York. We went to L... I had to go to L.A. for something, and we took him, just him, for the first time, we separated the twins, my right. wife and I. We got to the hotel, we got in the hotel room, we were unpacking. And in the other room, we heard a thump. And we went in, and there was a, a, a full-length mirror, and he ran into it thinking he saw his brother. Oh! <laughs> That's the sweetest story I've ever heard! A stupid kid! <laughs> he was two! <laughs> yeah, come it's on. Cute. All right, so far, you're, right. you're, you're at we zero. Yeah, OK. Yeah. <laughs> this question is for Greg. Greg, what trait... Are you glad you didn't inherit from your dad? Game over! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's trait? write these down. What traits do you think uh, Greg's glad that he didn't get from you, like Ray? Physical? What do you think? Physical? Or... Anything you want. It doesn't have to... I can tell you Greg's gone with a physical. <laughs> 
I can I can tell you that right now. Okay. Okay. Greg, what have you gone for? Nose. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. This nose put you through college. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, have we got a match? He's right. He's right, because the nose is too big, but Flatsky... Is What's the, Flatsky? It's the nickname for my ass, because <laughs> I have the flattest ass in showbiz. Yes. And really? Let me take my phone out, otherwise... <laughs> yeah. And he, thank God, him and his brother didn't get it. I don't have to show you, just trust no, me. I tr yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just nothing. Oh, you're it's right, nothing. there's nothing there, but... Oh, no, you, yeah, you've got one and you don't. You're right. I, carry, right. I carry two wallets. That makes up for it. <laughs> All right, this question is for Greg. All right. Greg, what's the maddest your dad has ever been at you? Hmm. All, right. All these answers could be right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are, what are we going for? i got to write here? something down, too, right? OK. Got it. Let's have a look. Right. Oh! Greg, show us your answer. Golf, Golf balls, balls in neighbor's no, yard. No. Golf balls! <laughs> We've got a match! Hey. We've got a match! Let me explain. What Can happened, Greg? Yeah, of course. So here's what happened. So they're about eight, nine years old again. Everything happens when they're eight, nine. And the neighbor behind our house comes over, and he's not happy. And he says, uh, my glass table in my yard broke from golf balls. A bunch of golf balls have been hit, and it broke my table. And I'm saying, well, it's, you know, it's not, why are you assuming it's me? And he showed me the golf balls. Titleists not only gave me golf balls, they had my name embroidered. <laughs> they hit balls with my, Ray Romano into the neighbor's yard. Oh, my and word. broke the glass yeah. table. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And how mad was the madness that you experienced, Greg? It, it, he, he was mad. It was... Well, because we I didn't wanted... Do it again. I didn't, he did, the guy didn't give me the golf balls back. <laughs> That's why I was mad. No, I wasn't that mad. I wasn't that mad. So. Well, something great's come out of it, because well done, you've scored a we point. Scored a point. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> OK, this question is for you, Ray. Oh, boy. Go Ray, ahead. what is Greg's most embarrassing childhood moment? What do we think? Let's, let's write this down. Again, this is a double answer. It's, it's embarrassing, but it's also kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know how that works. All right, I'm good. All right. OK, what have you gone for, Greg? Let's see. What's the most embarrassing, your most embarrassing childhood moment? I got cried at school. You, oh, you cried at school? In, oh. in third grade, to the point where, because we didn't want to go in, I didn't want to go in, and yeah. the point where the principal had to Oh, yeah. Hold me down I remember. while he and my mom would leave. Wow. I remember that day. The principal was, like, holding two, both of them, <laughs> and he was just telling us, go, leave! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, what have that. you gone for? Uh, I don't know if you remember the, the home the run home dance. The home run dance. The home run dance. What's the home him run and, dance? Him and his brother are diehard Yankee fans, and then when they were, like, what are you, about nine, ten, a little bit chunkier, maybe, than they are now, <laughs> whenever a, a, a Yankee would hit a home run, you want to do the home run dance? I or? can't do it now. I got... <laughs> but what is it? What would you do? He won't do it for you, but I happen to have a clip. Oh, God. <laughs> Hang on. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me just set How it. old is Greg here? He's just... a, ah, maybe 10, and I was waiting. I had to wait till a Yankee hit a home run. I was there with my video camera, and finally, I think Johnny Damon hit a home run. <laughs> Let's have a look at the home run dance. Thank you.